Really, really nice. A few things about this. This is harvested from sustainably renewable forestry. Uh, this is the best quality uh, block you can buy if you want to have a walnut. And end grain is maybe easier on the knife. It makes an interesting sound when the knife's cutting and chopping and rocking back and forth. A lot of chefs prefer it. It's really cool. It's also aesthetically pleasing. Visually, wow, really, really nice. So if you're looking to upgrade and move up to something like this, super high quality, I recommend you check out the sponsor right there. They got these babies in stock. They get them to you quick. Sometimes they're made to order. There's all different sizes. Anyway, a few things I want to move on here and give you a couple of tips. So uh, people have often asked me, Chef, what about feet on a cutting board? Well, it makes sense. If your cutting board's gonna slide or wiggle around on your surface, especially if you have granite or marble or stone or all these different uh, synthetics, and sometimes the cutting board wiggles and slides while you're using it. You've seen it. It gets dangerous. That's where I recommend uh, checking out the sponsor. They got this exclusive on these uh, custom rubber feet. These are about two inches diameter and they're about three quarters of an inch thick. They're gonna do a few things for you. They're gonna give you clearance. I'll put a few under here right now for you. They're gonna give you clearance. They're gonna make it non-slip. And they're also going to uh, let the humidity, the moisture, and the air flow around your cutting board. There you go, nice air gap there. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, so uh, you can caulk these on one side. You can just set them on like I did. You know, we've had people uh, use screws or nails or attach them that way. However, whatever you want to do. But the main thing is the air gap. It's nice. I like it. This cutting board, by the way, is reversible. You can easily pick it up, flip it over, use the other side. And uh, wow. Wow really nice should last you last you easily a lifetime if you take care of it keep it out of the sink oil it regularly and uh, it's gonna be good uh, a couple more tips for you here let's see what do I got I got the uh, board cream and I got the mystery oil two products you should have in your kitchen with the best block yeah I'll be back with more. Subscribe right here. Check out more on this channel. Learn all kinds of expert cooking tips and tricks from certified chefs. We've got all kinds of chefs visiting, coming and going on this channel. 